It's October 19th, 2015. I'm Dana Durnford, also known as nuclearproctologist.org. And you can find my videos in Fukushima presentations of Beautiful Girl by Dana on YouTube. And so we got to handle two different computers and all the software and everything else. So I, I do look away sometimes. We are live streaming out on YouTube. This is episode five. This is Monday. And so all week is Japanese week. And we're going to cover Japan extensively this week. Uh, and it's October 19th, most aspects of it. And for it all. Most aspects of it. And we say hi to everybody out in the chat room. And that are the hounds and everybody else that are supporting this Fukushima expedition for life over the last year, 260 days on the Pacific Ocean. And you're going to get down Zoe. Zoe's up in the little chair there. I just want to start recording that video so I didn't smurf that up. So we try to record all the comments each time and I can't keep up with the comments during the live stream. And But you know, later on I'll be able to get through the comments and hopefully catch up to any questions that I did miss. And I do cover all the bases all the times. Um, and then, so a lot of the streams are chewed up by covering the bases all the time. So these episodes, each episode, the first episode, the pilot episode, and there's a link below, is about unit one, unit two. Go ahead, get down, Zoe. Hang on one second. Hang on, I help you. Go ahead. You're not gonna jump. Yeah. Hard case, Zoe. All you gotta do is hang on to the chair. All you gotta do is hang on to the chair for her. All hell breaks loose. Okay, settle down. We just got back in the door. Uh, we just pulled a boat out of the water. And if you're not familiar with that, I'll just play you a short clip and get Zoe sorted out. This is a 30 second clip. So we're going to cover Japanese and all the aspects of it over a five day period because and, and even then I'm only scratching the surface of the material that I already have and I'll be updating it all this week with any new material. So Friday we'll, we'll, we'll be up to speed in one sense of the accident in four and a half years and we're going to start right away with Japan and Japan uh, once again each of my episodes, episode uh, two was on reactor three, episode four was on react three was on reactor four, episode four was on five and six, episode five, and this is episode six, episode five was, because the Polish show was the first episode, so I always get confused one time about it, but then the next episode was on the jet streams. Now today we're going to cover, and this whole week, and I'll do that right now, is covering Japan. Now, Japan, of course, was devastated. Uh, there's many, many original models. And so this was the original, um, and I can't remember the date on this, the 14th, um, the third. So this was three days after. And this was a wooden unit. Now, so radiation is dangerous by the atom, by a single atom. That's a cancer or an autoimmune deficiency, which could kill you. And there's 1,800 of those, and that's heart attacks and strokes. That's leukemias, uh, sorry, diabetes, and Alzheimer's, dementias, respiratory problems. And it's a lot of this is caused by lack of oxygen in the body because the body is attacking the, the atom inside your body. But what about if your body has all kinds of atoms inside of it? Then your body is attacking that, all the atoms all the time for many years. To, with white blood cells, and the white blood cells will displace the oxygen molecule. So the other 1,800 auto deficiencies have a chance to manifest if people, and particularly people that are already susceptible. So the original releases, some of these models we're going to show here, they show it, like you can see it's blowing over Japan on the coastline there. Now it's blowing towards Tokyo. Tokyo's up here. Uh, and, I mean, TEFCO has lied the entire way through, but this is the IRSN. This is France, I think, uh, radio uh, isotope modeling. 
don't quote me, it's our IAS, our IRSN anyway. And so it just shows the dispersal for just a few uh, days of a single reactor. It doesn't show all the reactors that have melted down. And so let me keep jumping around because that's the way today is going to go. And that's how these all of these go anyway. Now, another one I want you to remember, and I'm going to bring it up on the screen so you can get a better look at it. Like, uh, I hope it's a better look. And so according to the Japanese Nuclear and Industry Industrial Safety Agency, the NISA, the earthquake and tsunami affected 14 nuclear reactors at four different sites along the East Coast. And so in comparison, all the reactors that they're starting right now are on the west side of Japan, on the inside of Japan, not on the open ocean, because they, they all got wiped out on the open ocean. That whole coastline got 500 miles of coastline. 500 miles of coastline was awash with a tsunami. And I'll just run through that very quick for everybody, keep everybody back up on speed. And so I'm just going to play like 30 seconds of this particular clip, but this clip gets played a lot now because I got copyright. I can use it for the without getting a strike on my account. And so that's the tsunami coming in, but it's going to jump right to the flooding right away. And I want you to realize this is 500 miles of coastline. It was like this. So do you really think anybody? Does anybody really think any of the reactors on the entire coastline got away with it, or anything else? Do you think that? This wood chipping machine that went through 500 miles of coastline said, oh, no, I'm not going to damage the infrastructure around the nuclear power plants. And they need outside power to operate. But once they stopped pumping, they couldn't do anything because all this water came through and took everything away and destroyed everything, right? Is what all I'm trying to say to you. And then they had a massive earthquake. And, I mean, I'll get more different types of footage. But, I mean, this does tell the whole story all on its own. So this is in Tokyo, where the earthquake was picking up the earth and splitting the earth and pulling it and pushing it and extending it and shifting it. Uh, and people people were hurt. looking. See everybody, really really is hard pressed to stand up. She, she's staggering over there. Did you see that? That was interesting. And I'm just waiting for another little bit of footage to come up. I want to see. Want you to see the liquefaction of a bicycle. You see the water coming out of the ground. Yeah, and uh, that's behind me there. It's hard to do it. I always got to go with the other hand. Uh, and so the liquefaction is that earth. Uh, and some of this, you can see, right? So where, where the building's destroyed, where the building's affected, where the building's damaged. Do you think that building there and then all the buildings in between there and the epic center never got the same kind of uh, effect? So you not only had a tsunami running through the country, you had... 100 uh, aftershocks that day on top of that. So truly, truly a devastating, a shocking, you know. Now, this is a radioactive dispersal on the 22nd of March. This is 11 days after the accident. This is Japan. All of Japan is radiated. Uh, and so... And this video is a long video. This video is a long video. I'm not going to play it all, I'll, but I probably will come back to it. And so the tsunami took out the entire infrastructure of the whole country. So let's go back to the headlines and get started. And we had five thumbs down before the stream started. <laughs> You're not allowed to talk about Japan unless you say it's like a bananas or potato chips or water in the sunshine. And I don't know how to do that. Japanese must be the only place in the world... And so that's not the headline I want to start off with. Hang on. We'll get it. It's not that one. It must be not heartless. Even though we're going to get to that one too. It's this one here I wanted to start off with. <clears throat> More than 8,000 kilometers in Japan contaminated. Square kilometers. That are like run. Just run. Zones. That they emit to. And, but I'm going to show you... Um, a methodical look at the entire country over the next five days. And we're going to show you how the kids are being irradiated every step of the way to school, during school, all the way home and in their homes. And how this is uh, untenable, even 
you know, even if you hated these people, it's still it's still wrong in every sense of the word. It's, and it's wrong even if you were to go down and collect the reactor cores, magically get them out and put them in a containment unit, you can change the damage that we've done to this planet. And Japan in particular, you know, these are innocent people. It's just a, a, a few thousand people that are they're destroying their own country and getting away with it temporarily. I mean, no, they'll get, they'll destroy, the, they already destroyed the country, but they'll be accountable, is what I mean by that, in the near future. And I'm, I truly believe that. Uh, 20,000 square kilometers would be evacuated? I mean, Japan's better off going to Chernobyl, let's put it that way. Government over 30,000 square kilometers is blanketed? Blanketed. By thousands of radioactive isotopes. Blanketed. That's horrible. Just one plume coming through your country blankets everything, see? What about the plume never stopped like Japan? Chernobyl stopped after um, 10 days. Chernobyl's plume was equal to 400 Hiroshima bomb plumes. But if it had lasted 20 days, if Chernobyl had lasted, it would have been 800 Hiroshima bombs. If it lasted 30 days, it would have been 1,200 Hiroshima bombs, 400 every 10 days, the animosity equivalent of 40 a day. And Chernobyl was one-third of size. Chernobyl was a 30% meltdown. Chernobyl was using graphite. They weren't using the mix oxide fuel, the MOX. Uh, so radiation covering 30,000 square miles was caused by the four large plumes, but the plumes never stopped coming out of there. And as we covered repeatedly in all these episodes about all this, and that's why we're doing what we're doing now, is because we already established the massive releases and inventories and, the, the, you know, we confirmed it with 40, 50 headlines and videos and documentation and flushed it out in each of these episodes about the damage. So, but uh, now they're starting to admit that about 70% of the, the territory is polluted. Not just Fukushima Prefecture, not just Tokyo. Uh, expert worried about a catastrophic impact on health. And uh, Japan must be the only place in, in the world with several million becquels of radioactive isotope in urban areas. See, you know, a lot of these headlines we just foom, 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 foom. And, but it, the idea was a lot of people, past, present, and future, are still seeking out is, did this really happen? Was there really an event? Was it really truly significant? And are not able to ascertain uh, reliable sources of it. And so when we put it all together into a nice party package, if you could say that about this story, uh, this was the 20th, uh, dispersals around Japan. And you can you can see like that yellow, that's some scary numbers, that's a million. <laughs> and then the, 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 the purple, see they got a purple down low and then they got a purple up high. And it's very difficult to indistinguish between those two colors. And wherever you see purple down here, that purple there, they got that purple up there hidden in it, so you can't find it. That's how that works. It's shocking that they do that, eh? They put purple on top, purple on the bottom. How are you supposed to know the difference? Oh, there's a difference there, mister. Yeah, there's a difference in my TV. I can't tell the difference, though, the two million colors. My eyes can, but I can't. Look at one TV and look at another TV and say, hey, that one there, dash eight, nine, seven, six, two, four, eight, yellow, and slightly different than that car that flashed past there a few minutes ago during that commercial. Uh, right? So, like, Japanese Prime Minister set up alternative capital anywhere but here. I mean, Tokyo. And Japan unveils plan, develop massive government backup city anywhere but here. I mean, 300 miles west of Tokyo. And they got room for 200 slaves and maybe built at an airport where they can get out of Dodge, you know, show up once or twice a month or a year and say, no, no, I was at the office. Give me my money. But if you found out, they got no pensions, no money, no easy ride, no nothing. Right? So right now they're doing it to, to the entire country. This is about Japan. More than, uh, and we already covered that headline. And so we covered those headlines. We're back with Truett. Yay! Job well done, Dana. Get busy. Start smoking up. Um, so France says Japan has lost control and that the French should leave, run uh, the, from the country. 
not to the other side of the country, not somewhere else, but leave. Just leave. Don't care where you're going, but just don't stay there. And they probably told him, don't go to America, don't go to Canada, because it goes straight over there with the jet streams. And we proved yesterday the jet streams are real. So from now on, I'm going to just say the jet streams. And everybody knows I already proved that. And so nobody's going to beat me up in the comments section. God damn it, conspiracy theorists, jet streams are real. It's hogwash. We got them, man. They're on Twitter. Emergency, Dana said the jet streams are real. Government says 1,500 tons of highly radioactive sludge. It's an insider's joke. Anybody's not familiar with this. A year or two down the road. Government says 1,500 tons. Just this one little spot. A highly radioactive sludge may end up as soil for gardening. Can you get any more disingenuous than that? And can you get anybody? Oh no, we're 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 gonna store it, sir. No, no, we're gonna we're gonna put it in bags. We're gonna right No. burn it in incinerators. Well, we got just endless headlines of that stuff. It's the gallows laugh because it's so twisted that they're doing this. These are dirty bombs. Your incinerators in Japan are all dirty bombs that never stop polluting everything. That and that that pollution comes right across North America because the Jet streams are real. Yeah, I know, Dana, what? No, no, I proved it. Go watch the last episode. High radioactive sewage found 30 miles from Fukushima plant. So everybody's going into the bathroom and pooping out these little dirty bombs. Right? Yeah. And so cesium level is up to 334,000 becquels. These are dirty bombs, a kilogram. That's a dirty bomb. You, can, you, you go to jail forever if you took that pound of crap and blew it up somewhere. That's not everyday feces, trust me. <laughs> 50 kilometers west of the plant, they found sewage, 2,600 beckles. Now, this is all right across the country like this. Debris from Fukushima near the plant is being ground up and burned in other parts of Japan. All of Japan, they're just recontaminating it over and over and over. They're sacrificing their own. Do you think there's no consequences? Do you think it's like a banana and a potato chip and walk it in sunshine? Of course, you know, if you actually go look up the actual documentations of the people that done the radiation studies on animals, and, uh, you know, we got a guy, now not many people are probably familiar with this guy, because you won't see him up in mainstream media unless he's talking about, there's no way Fukushima can get over here. But that guy is also a... Uh, he, Dr. Raymond Gilmedy, a Lovelace Respiratory Research Institute in New Mexico, he has 84 peer review academic studies. And if you look him up, he has a link to all of these studies. You can go read through them all. But just to get you up to speed on what radiation is not like uh, walking in sunshine or bananas or potato chips or anything like that. No, no. Tumors of the lung, skeleton, and liver occurred beginning at about three years after exposure. And this was just one study at over 35 years on beagle dogs and beagle puppies. Bone tumors found in 93 dogs were the most common cause. Wait a second. Three years, bone tumors killed them. 93 of them. And the particles they were eating is a lot less was in that poop, I can assure you, as you were looking at earlier. I just wanted to clarify that, that's all. Just wanted to get everybody up on that same page. That there are studies besides fruit flies and nonsense and potato chips. Anybody says potato chips, yeah. You know, you need to stuff potato chips in them until they can't breed up their nose. I don't care where you put it, but put it in there somewhere. Fit it in them somewhere. Okay, I'll take that back. Put it in their ears till they can't hear. Debris from near Fukushima being ground up. And when the children are walking to school and they're hacking. So if you drive by a nuclear power plant and you suck in an atom being released, and they're always releasing it there, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 years later, you got a cancer. Or diabetes. Or Alzheimer's. Or dementia. Or your children had autism. Or 1,800 autoimmune deficiencies that are debilitating and that will cause you to liquidate your assets in order to bring some comfort to your sufferings, uh, your loved ones that are suffering. Disposable quake debris begins in Tokyo. They're going to burn it and coat out radiation fear. Will continue for years, over a billion pounds. Mixing it up with the radiation at the same time. This is exactly. Japan to burn drums of unprocessed radioactive waste from nuclear accidents. And the facilities now to be built, they're probably built. They, they, took, they took over every incineration plant in the country and they burn it there. Every, every, 
and they're allowed to burn hundreds of thousands in a kilogram of waste. So, like, what's the sense of decommissioning a country, trying to decontaminate a country by digging up topsoil and then taking it, putting it into an incinerator somewhere else and burning it? Like, you can't make it up, see? They found plutonium in every sample. Uh, radiation absorbing bacterium is everywhere on every, all the paved surfaces, and the kids are walking through that all the time. Uh, that's all the way up through Tokyo, too. And these numbers are reaching a million becquels per square meter, and so where skids, kid stands up with their umbrella or whatever the case may be, that's a square meter, your coffee table, say, is a big, reasonable coffee table. And so Dr. Raymond Gilman, his studies I showed you earlier, he was killing the beagle dogs and the beagle puppies with plutonium and americium and neptunium, but he was only using just insignificant particles compared to what we're talking about here tonight, and we're just warming up. we got a five-day... We're going to bang into these headlines and, and documentations and models and actual uh, real true in-your-face data because this is a conversation that everybody has to understand all the aspects of it and that is not, it's wrong to turn our backs on Japan even though they killed the Pacific Ocean, even though they're killing North America at an accelerated pace all, the, all the, the vulnerable life has already disappeared to radiation, and they're studying whales and they're studying tuna, in order because they're way up the food chain. Uh, so I done one thirty one detect in Tokyo at multiple locations during November. Is this is a tiny number? Trust me, three hundred fifty becquels a kilogram is a big number. It's a scary number. Don't get me wrong. It's a very dangerous number, but it's an insignificant number in comparison to the numbers that will be coming over the next five days. I'm going to show you. And so there's a lot of conflicts in a lot of these headlines, and we try to work our way through those for you. But there was 31 times more iodine-129 for every single iodine-131 that was produced. And they got a 15 million year half-life, and they have extra electrons attached to them. And they're, they're created from the uranium. Right After the uranium goes through a chain reaction, it creates all these isotopes. Because all they put in the reactors... They don't put all these isotopes in the reactors. They're putting in uranium and plutonium. And the stuff that they were using in Japan is reclaimed from melted missiles. I'm sorry, from a nuclear missiles. I don't know why I always say that. From nuclear missiles that are unstable after 40 years sitting in silos during the Cold War. So they took those old nuclear bombs and reclaimed the uranium and plutonium and put it through the reactor to try to kill it. This is, what this is what they were trying, allegedly trying to do. But what they do is they make these wicked isotopes for directed energy weapons. Atlantic, is government trying to contaminate every region of Japan with burning radioactive debris? And if everyone is contaminated, and in a relative sense, then no one is. And But a single atom in your body will cause a cancer way down the road, but it might cause one of the 18, and most likely will cause one of the 1,800 autoimmune immune deficiencies and at the same time a single becquel a single atom in your body you, you, all your white blood cells are attacking it trying to build a sarcophagus around it because it won't go away and so you have less oxygen in your body and you feel you get headaches you feel weak you feel lethargic etc 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 you're not able to uptake nutrients because you don't have the right combination of oxygen incinerating radioactive material contaminate the environment on its own. It's a dirty bomb. You're burning a dirty bomb in the country. You take a dirty bomb, like going in the woods on a windy day, and blowing it up on a hill, and you know it's going to fall out over that city. But they're taking the cleanup material that's too high to have in a community, putting it in bags and driving it to another community and burning it in the incinerator. You can't kill these isotopes, see? You can't. You have to. They're created at five, six, seven. 1,000, 8,000, 9,000 Fahrenheit temperatures. There's no way to destroy the isotope. You can't contain it because of the noble gases that it produces. And so they're always venting. All the waste has to be vented. There's no such thing as waste because it lasts forever and ever and ever. Way past the human experience. Fukushima plant will burn radioactive waste. Incinerators run around the clock. Now, now the reason I went this way is because it's important you understand how stupid and crazy and disgusting and twisted and backwards and backwards that these people are. 
Uh, okay, let me keep going. We've done that one. And so the radionuclide is starting to transform into other substances. So the... <coughs> let me keep going. I'll start yelling. Japan for burning Fukushima debris 10 miles from the Diachi nuclear power plant. And post-Fukushima horror, a severe impact on oceanic environment, an unpredictable amount of damage to the Pacific, fundamental reproduction of humans. Japan is simply dumping the nuclear waste into the sea, uh, and they're probably still doing it. They were caught over and over and over doing it, local workers, and then they start burning it in incinerators at that stage because they kept getting caught. It's like, it's insane. They... they you know, they were screaming they got to get a military power down there because the word of terrorists might come in there and get radioactive waste, yet they're out there burning it in everybody's community and everybody has access to it. Anybody can go out and scoop it up and sell it to the terrorists so we can create another million refugees and a million dead and a million missing and millions of orphans to get 10,000 Taliban, ISIS, Hamas, gangbangers. There's always 10,000. That's the boogeyman. So they can burn trillions in weapons and go out and shoot up everything on the ocean because, hey, the Ruskies might get us. And if you don't understand that, what I mean by that, I just said it that way because that's... Look, here's what CIA said would happen to America if the Ruskies bombed them. And so for 10 years, this is what they've done to their own people because they were worried that the Ruskies would bomb them and do this. Yeah, does that make any sense to anybody on the planet? Because this is the radioactive follower, and each one of those lines is from, and I'm going to go back to Japan right away, but each one of those lines is at least two atomic bombs test with the wind blowing in that direction. So the whole industry is predicated on lies and fabrications about this whole technology and about its waste or about its use or about its life or about its... It's harm, and particularly about it's harm, they'll always tell you it's like a banana potato chip walking in the sunshine, getting on an airplane, sleeping next to somebody, like you're drinking water. There's natural radiation all over around you all the time, Dana. And these were these are not radiation. These can't mutate fruit flies. They live one ten thousandth of a second, and then they dissipated into nothing because that's what they were originally. They have no significance. Everything on the planet is acclimated through genetic superior selection. But if you were to add an extra electron to them, they're very harmful to everything on the planet. Nothing has ever encountered it before. Nothing has an autoimmune that can deal with it. Massive radioactive waste build up in Tokyo suburbs. Over here, it's over there, it's everywhere. And for the first time, center is over capacity since September. Have a nice day. Suck up your bucket ball. Massive radioactive... Hey, didn't we just cover that headline? Dana. Tokyo official blasts his parents who wants kids to avoid just ingesting radioactivity at school. It's important to share the pain. No, it's not. See, that's where everybody rushed him, took him out and hung him out of the tree. Where the kids can't see him, put a tarp over him. And then a whole lot less teachers will say shit like that. Right? That's the only way you're going to deal with him anyway, trust me. First time since meltdown, surge in radioactive, and it'll happen at some point too, trust me. Surge in radioactive cesium levels cause incinerators near Tokyo to shut down. You're killing everybody, shut it down. We said burn the stuff from Fukushima further north, damn it. Not here. Chip rock. That's some scary stuff, see? D D and the people that are working at the incinerator, do you really think they got any concept of nuclear waste? Do you really think that they're just carrying on their, you know? It's beyond irresponsible. It's criminal. It's beyond criminal. It's it's an absolute outrageous, outright emergency that we deal with it. That we deal with these people. They can't be allowed to continue to do that. They know the jet streams and the ocean currents come straight to North America. They're like, ha. Yeah. Russia report from Japan radioactive fallout around Fukushima incinerator plants being hidden. You can't decontaminate if I, if I had an isotope. Stuck to my hand, I pour battery acid over it. Besides the fact that it hurt like friggin' stink. Worst case scenario, I would I would liberate that isotope back into the environment. You can't decontaminate it. You can't burn it. You can't even pour battery acid. If you drop it into battery acid, it wouldn't cure. But like yummy. Uh, so you got fallout around all the plants. Hang on. Tokyo neighbor cesium approaching levels found in Fukushima Chiba incinerator dust seventy thousand becquerels a kilogram. That's a dirty bomb. 
If you got on an airplane and flew in the United States, Homeland Security wouldn't even grope you. They'd be like, I ain't groping that guy. He's like, whoa. I got to go on coffee break. I don't want to be here in case he shit some of that shit. They wouldn't even let you into America or in Canada if you come in with that much radiation on you. No, it's okay, though. Knock your socks off. You has to burn hundreds of tons of radioactive waste from Germany in Tennessee. Fukushima will start burning radioactive waste. 100,000 beckles a kilogram. That's all we're going to burn, I swear. We got Geiger counters. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Say no more. You got a, a billion pounds of radioactive debris. And rather than try to deal with it morally and ethically and like the, the licenses that we promised they were going to obey, like the only reason we allow nuclear on this planet is because the licensing that they got is so strict that they're absolutely not to let a single Beckwell off the site. Right? That's what they told us. No, no, they can't, can't get nothing on. But it's always hemorrhaging out of these plants. That's why cancer is up around every nuclear plant for leukemia is 15%. And, and you're six times more likely to have breast cancer if you're a woman within 15 miles of a nuclear power plant or driving by and sucking in the, the isotopes when they're releasing the 120,000 liters a day from the fuel pools that boils off anyway. They don't even try to contain it. They, they bury it in our oceans and our dumps and our landfills like St. Louis right now. They, their entire history is about you being naive and gullible and about you thinking that a banana or a potato chip or walking in sunshine from somebody that calls himself or is being described as an expert by the media that you're supposed to be able to trust that don't have any kind of checks and balances for anybody unless they're attacking me or you for criticizing these people. Then they got checks and balances against me or you. He ain't from Harvard. Mystery blasts black substance all over the country, but this is just one spot, a million Beckwells, a million per kilogram. Now that cesium, there's a hundred times more strontium-90 and 2,000 other elements. The reactions don't run on cesium, they run on uranium plutonium. Over a million Beckwells, that was the same headline, 10 million Beckwells a kilogram, minimum soma, soil sample, and so, local Japanese did not reveal plutonium-241 detection. Radiation doses were 50 times higher than the total of three other plutonium isotopes. Three other plutonium daughters that were mentioned. How come? Huh? Because these people, are, you couldn't possibly get any more maniacal or evil. Uh, once again, this is the same city, different day, different place. 20 million Beckwells a kilogram. It is too dangerous and must be analyzed by public institutions. Fukushima, follow figures released. Uh, 4,000 over a major city. I can't remember what city this one was. Well, you know, 260 days on the ocean at the last 365 on the Fukushima Expedition for Life. I'm a little bit rusty. I'm getting back up to speed. Fukushima figures, uh, these are bad numbers. Uh, like on a nuclear power plant worker 25 years ago was only allowed to get five Beckles in their whole year. So that might give you some idea what we're talking about. Then they wouldn't be allowed back on the way, on the nuclear site for a whole year. Uh, so 50,000 Beckles a kilogram radioactive cesium found in soil near Tokyo. And terrifying that the sample was from the side of the street where the children walk every day. So just a random sample. But the whole country is like that, see? Government-funded researchers have sounded an alarm. 175 billion Beckles flow per day in just one river in one city, 60 miles from the meltdown. So we're slowly moving out from Fukushima as we read these headlines, by the way. Dana, thanks for telling us. Way later. And so 175 billion Beckles. That's 175 billion atoms every time they check. And so what that means is there's a huge source upriver. Now, that's enough to give everybody on the planet cancer if you distributed out one Beckwell, one atom to each person. And every animal on the planet. And, but it might take 30 years to kill them all that way, right? But the numbers we're looking at, these are extraordinary numbers. Because every day you're getting more in your body and it stays there, sequesters in your organs, in your muscles, in your bones. Because it acts 
like potassium that acts in your body. It acts like calcium acts in your body. It works through those same venues. Research on radioactivity. Uh, 6.15 million becquerels a square meter. A square meter. That's where you're standing up in a square meter. A cubic meter is what you're breathing in the air where you walk through it. A square meter is like your tabletop. A square meter. A meter. Three feet by three feet by three feet by three feet. A square. Detected 60 kilometers from the meltdown. So they should evacuate all of that, right? Every bit of not move people in closer where the big numbers were to them. But guess what? Even as you move out and everything is, uh, you know, up to 60 kilometers is definitely contaminated. Let's jump. Tokyo neighbor sees him approaching levels found in Fukushima. The Chiba incinerator dust was, we covered that one, I think. 70,000 becquerels a kilogram. Half a million becquerels of radioactive cesium, 75 miles. So it's not just 60, now we're at the 75 miles, not kilometers, miles, uh, from the Fukushima plant, and it's half a million becquels. That's a death sentence. That's a death sentence to live in that environment. And it doesn't just, like it doesn't, there's a street in Fukushima where seven people drop dead on one street, a shopping street. That had a bit of that black stuff on it, I bet you. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Fukushima 311 flutter figures released over 4 million backwards. I can see Tep go slapping hands. High five, 4 million. Woo, woo. We killed all the little kitties and deer. They just don't know it yet. Contamination did not come from much talked about iodine 131. No, because there's 10 times more 132, 30 times more 133, 31 times more iodine 129 for every 131 that was produced in those reactors. And the cesium, of course, you know, there's 100 times more, 90 times more. There's a few of these salacious headlines coming up. New study, radioactive thorium detected 100 kilometers. Yeah, really, Dana? How the hell did it make it that far? Oh, you know, the wind and fog and rain and plumes, and death plumes. Daughter products of uranium. No, oh, wow, thanks. Somebody finally mentioned that. Because the reactors run on uranium, mostly. And a little tiny bit of plutonium. We shouldn't be there. It burns 200,000 degrees hotter. Up to 200,000 degrees hotter. So when you want to melt down, just add some plutonium, trust me. High levels of radioactivity found extensively. Japan says the air 150 kilometers from the Fukushima plant is as radioactive as it gets. I mean, close to the meltdown. July 28th, 2011. You know, there's people out there probably doing this photoshopped all that. None of that's true. But these headlines are your academics, your media, your institutions, your universities uh, from all over the planet. High levels of radioactive material found in Tokyo. In Tokyo. Oh, it was in Tokyo. And ain't never gonna go away from Tokyo. You can never find a spot in Tokyo that's not hell on earth. That used to be uh, Chernobyl's moniker. Uh, Chir Chernobyl's a candle stick compared to Fukushima. Of any of Fukushima's reactors, Fukushima has three 100% reactors that are melted down. Falling from Fukushima causing problems, huh? What's that? 180 kilometers away, you say? Wow. Surely it respects the border didn't go any further. No, sorry, you'll be wrong. Japanese times. And so, mystery ready substances. It wasn't a mystery to the government, they knew what it was. Detected 180 kilometers. Fukushima is very mobile. Fukushima eating, ah, eating up the whole country. Yum, 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 Japan. Ah. Just eat it all up. Alpha particles at 200 counts per minute. You want to grab that principal who told the children they should suck it up to drag him through those communities on his back, kicking and screaming for a couple of weeks till he got no skin left on his back. Diachi Elementary, four million pickles. You don't put your kid in there, they'll send in... Uh, 
the government to take your kid away from you for being a bad parent. 20 kilometers from Tokyo. That's a death sentence. Would you let your children play in something like that? But see, they're kept in the dark. They don't know any better. The parents are, are chastised and harassed and ridiculed and mocked and tortured and tormented by the principals because they couldn't get a job serving French fries anywhere. And they got no pension coming up in the next year or so. All their pensions are gone. And, and Tepco will loot that too, right? The Japanese will loot that from their own rather than see them get away with a little bit of a pension. 27,000 becquels a kilogram of cesium in the kindergarten. That's where you take the principal out. You get about 60, 70 parents go down and say, what are you going to do about it? He said, nothing. You grab him, you drag him out, and you keep stuffing that soil in his mouth until he stops complaining and kicking. Japanese newspaper, Tokyo area, turned out to be as contaminated as Fukushima. Turned out to be because they lied constantly. They had over 5,500 models in the first 50 days. They were cranking them out, but they didn't release them. They didn't tell people. But everybody paid for those models. Everybody paid for that equipment. Everybody paid for the people that had those educations. The Japanese people paid for them to tell them that if there was an event, that was agreement. And then what did they do when the event happened? They hid it away and continued to hide it away because they think they won't have any power. They think they won't have a job. They think they want to get their pensions. They think that the industry will fail and then they won't have any future for their kids who they put in that industry. And they got jobs there because they're government employees. It's a disgusting. The whole system is just disgusting. Air samples in Tokyo, 270 times more contaminated as cesium-137 than the global weapons fallout peak. Uh-huh. And so what does that mean, Dana, in English? I don't know. They don't tell us jack shit. Global weapon follow peak was just, it was insignificant because they lied about everything. It was horrendous if the truth had to come out. Like the global weapons follow, let me show you what 10 days looks like. Here, that's what 10, day, 10 years of weapons follow in the United States looks like. You know that circle to plan it over and over and over and over and over and over and over. So, like, the whole industry is disgusting. Oh, we, we had to do that because we were afraid the Rushkies might bomb us and do that. They bite the nose off some of these people. You ever meet some? Forecast shows Tokyo on a radiation threat on Sunday, March the 20th. What? Tokyo? Nah. It's too far away, Dana. You're a terrorist, Dana. You're a terrorist spreading that lies, Dana. There's lies, boy. Dana made all this up. I'm, I'm only saying this. Everything I say where I say Dana done this and Dana done that, that's just the comments all over the web about me. They're, they're lying, trying to kill me on the internet. Then they're going to come kill me here when they destroy my name, right? That's the game. First they destroy you on the internet. They try to destroy your credibility. Anybody new to comments on my video gets an email saying, look at Dana here. You didn't know about this Dana, did you? Dana, Dana killed this one. Dana killed that guy. I mean, these guys, they, they went and got people that say they are my niece. They got people on video on their site saying they're my next door neighbor and that I'm making this all up, that I, that, that I fabricated all these headlines, these maps, that I'm making everything up. So this was the wind pattern towards Tokyo. And don't ask me what means what. You see all the arrows during that period? So that's a video. That's plain, believe it or not. And it's showing a six hours, one hour, six hours, 24 hours. So 11, 5, and 29th. So this was January, February, March, April, May. May the 29th, 2011. But anyway, so Japan, in other words, Japan is uh, accumulation of radioactive cesium-134 and cesium-137. Right, and they got this little tiny Fukushima number one power plant. And based on a map released November 25th by the science ministry showing the results of its aerial monitoring. 
Now, this whole country, that's the headlines I'm showing you up to right now, is showing not only Iwati and everything else, this whole country is blanketed in, in massive radiation, not the nonsense that you're seeing there. But they had 5,500 models, so they took the models and tweaked them, doesn't look so bad, and finally put out a few models, right? Let's keep going on those headlines. So, forecast showed March 20th, that was from Unit 3, that they were really worried about it. So, a radioactive plume of Krepton 85 over Tokyo on the 15th, that's when you're on the 3, on the 14th, rather. But that's what it was about. Reactor 3 with MOX exploded. Now, they all had plutonium in it. I show that in, uh, in, episode, in the pilot episode, in episode 1, right? Uh, Fukushima nuclear accident. Um, the, what is it? With Speedy? Like they made 5,500 of those, and they released some of them, finally. 300,000 barrels of radioactive iodine deposited in areas near Tokyo before the end of March. But it never stopped coming out of Japan. The reactors in Japan are all 100% meltdowns. Chernobyl was one third. Chernobyl stopped after 10 days. And like I showed in uh, no earlier episodes, that the chain reaction most likely has never stopped, will never stop. No one knows how to stop. There is no technology. And we won't even try. And the major institutions that we consider the leading authorities on this won't go near the place. They say, oh, Japanese won't let us in there. And that's, their, that's how they get away from being there. But their families and their friends and their loved ones should beat them up and make them go there. Not necessarily in that order. High radiation levels near Tokyo linked to Fukushima. Linked to Fukushima. Well, now a lot of these headlines... You know, I want you to understand something about all these headlines that... that I, I don't probably impress on you very much. But with all the reactors that were melting down that day, there was 14 of them. And so everything was about Fukushima. So the lies were all based on Fukushima and not mentioning these other reactors. Right? And so a lot of these headlines, the radiation came from those reactors. But we, we can't, you know, we can't go down that road right a second, but we will down in the near future. Of how do you done this? Rain caused 29 million backwells in the soil near Tokyo. Yeah, but I didn't get to Tokyo. That's why they were going to move the thing away, right? The, the capital of Tokyo, the government, not the capital, but the government's employees and the government families were going to get moved on taxpayers' bills, but they were never going to tell the taxpayers. Uh, so they knew what was going on. They knew the whole country was going to get wrecked. And they made a conscious decision not to tell anybody so that they can have their pensions and have their authority. Tokyo drinking water unsafe for infants. Official government distributing bottled water. Distributing bottled water. So like every country has a nuclear emergency plan. And the major plan is to fly chemtrail to sky with the regions that will bond and bind with the radiation and knock it out of the sky. And so that's one of the mitigators for, um, you know, we know France got that, we know all the democratic countries, Canada, America, Japan, uh, all and Russia and other countries. And Russia done that during Chernobyl. And they even done that local laws with a helicopter every day uh, thrown region all over Chernobyl's area because they were trying to put that sarcophagus on it. The only reason they were able to put a sarcophagus on Chernobyl was uh, because the chain reaction stopped after 10 days. If that chain reaction was still going, they would still not have a sarcophagus, right? It's not really a sarcophagus. And how are we doing? 219, okay, we got 10 minutes to go. And that's why I say it's going to take us five days to get through all of this about Japan. And I'm not going to be through it, but we're going to move over to United States, then Canada. Um, and somewhere along the way will be Pacific Ocean next week, too, by the way. Uh, and that's such a big story. I'm probably going to save that for a couple of weeks down the road to make sure I got everything proper for that one. Because it's, it's such a big story. There's so many, it encompasses so many aspects. And then we got the Fukushima Expeditions for Life that we were on. And it's crowdfunded and that everybody... We got that done, right? That's done. 15,000 miles of the Canadian coastline is done. 
we got that data, and it's always going up at the nuclear proctologist, except for the last week here, I've been pretty lazy. 260 days under the ocean, I'm so burnt out doing what I'm doing. But section two, if you go to the nuclear proctologist, that's the homepage today, and you see GPS is of where I was to, and then there's the pictures down below it, et cetera, et cetera. Section one is home section, that's Chernobyl, and, and it looks like that as you scroll down and open up each of these sections, right? And so you got jet streams, Pacific Ocean, Japan, a lot of the headlines I'm reading your days, dear. We got the reactors, we got 2,000 pictures in that one right there, etc., etc. And so at the top of the page, that's under section one. Section two looks like this. And that uh, eagle, that is Reggett. That was the Bella Bella. So the first five of these are from Bella Bella. These were hit away when I came back um, from the last expedition, a six-week trip through the west coast of Canada, only from Alaska down to America. So the entire coast, west coast of Canada, open ocean side, six weeks we've done that. And that's the documentation uh, below that. So these are all the west coast of British Columbia, Canada. And so is the home page. That's the west coast of British Columbia, Canada. Click on any picture. And out of the 5,600 highly visible species, there's only three or four here. They're all missing through the tidal pools. That's the nursery. And then there are 6,500 invertebrates that are missing without the backbones. They're like little shrimp, like little krill. Um, and then all the birds were missing off the coastline. We'll cover all that later. But that's the site, the nuclear proctologist.org, where we're posting all of that. My website, of course, Beautiful Girl by Dana. Go to videos, open that, and then go to live streams, and you'll see each day. Now, tomorrow we'll be back. The new time will be 10.30 a.m. Pacific Canada time, British Columbia time each day. And let's get some more Japanese head in, headlines in. Uh, expert work, but I, like I said, I just pulled a boat out of the water this morning. I just got in the boat, still sitting there on the truck. It was not even unhitched yet. And I just came in and got ready to do the show because I had to go get that done, unfortunately. Or it would have been here at 10.30 a.m. this morning. I was all ready to go. And then I realized I had to get out and get that done. Almost 18 million beckles a square meter near Tokyo. So, okay, now we're talking about 100 million people. Is what we based now tomorrow we'll cover the other hundred million, 140 million. But today we're looking at at the living areas of a hundred million people, and it's just frightening. It's frightening. And that land in the UK, for instance, that is contaminated, you can't put it on the market from Chernobyl's fall or twenty eight years ago, is nothing near that. There's nowhere near that. What you're looking at right now on the, on the webpage. It's nowhere near that, see? Japan's time cesium levels spike with unusual high amounts of fallout um, in Okutu Ma. Tokyo up. I, I, I know I screwed that word to pieces. You can sue me later. Tokyo up to 300,000 barrels a square meter. Now, this is home to the world's largest drinking water reservoir of its kind. Do you think the, the radiation, oh, hey, everybody, stop. Don't land in the water, Esther, drinking water. No, it's all running down the mountains on both sides of it into your drinking water. No, that's no, okay, Dana. No, it's okay because we, we're too stupid to do anything about it, and we're not going to let anybody else try. That's what these people's uh, attitude is. Oh, we're too stupid. I don't, I'm not a nuclear scientist. <laughs> I can't do anything about it, Dana. That's typical employee. And so, they won't get out of the way unless somebody else there, right? No, they won't give me pension, didn't they, Dana? Right? But they won't get out of the way. They won't say, we need help. You got to come in here and do this. We don't know what we're doing. This is out of control. We're killing our, our friends, our families, our loved ones, everybody in the communities throughout this place in increments over the next few years. No, 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 no. It's okay, like a banana. I better change subjects because I'll get, I get, I get pretty whirly. If somebody was, like I was doing an interview, you know, sitting around with a bunch of people and somebody was starting to say it's like a banana or potato chip, I probably can't contain myself. I'm probably going to pull a whole bunch of hair out of their head. 300,000 backwells. I'm not going to say what I really would do, but... 
I'm pretty sure I bust a chair I'm sitting on on their head at the same time. Uh, but so these numbers only included iodine 131, 10 times more iodine 132, 30 times more iodine 133, 31 times more iodine 129 with a 15 million year, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So the day is five minutes short. That's okay. I'll come in. The show's over officially right here on this headline. Tokyo area soil testings find radioactivity to Chernobyl relocation levels. 919,000 beckles a square meter. And so the next five days, just what we're, what we're doing today is, like I say, it's going to take five days to get through a, a, a small portion of what I got on Japan. Tomorrow's going to be a really good episode. You won't want to miss tomorrow's episode. It's going to be a charmer. Um, and let me just double check here. Hey, oh, episode five today. And so let's try something. I better not open another stream because I'll lose it. And so we'll come back over to Japanese. Hang on. Let's go look at the Japanese pictures, party pictures again. <clears throat> Let's see. Good day to everybody. Hi, Daniel. BK Lewis. The show's officially over, by the way, folks. And so that's episode five, six, seven, eight, nine this week. will come through on Japan. And I mean, Japan is just... Tomorrow's headlines will be on the kids' And shocking headlines and um, you know if you got loved ones in Japan if you got friends and families in Japan you should contact them and get them to come to this stream tomorrow at 10 30 a.m. hi Terry Ann T449 Paul Short Ricky Chase fans filtration Albert Thomas Ackerman making sense of the inter irrational spirit on the water yeah, Tom's painted that great painting, Spirit Underwater, uh, Mirror Image, when we started these expeditions. Hi, Elaine H. And Daniel, Paul Short, Fix It, Atom, BK Lewis, LA, Jimmy Joe, Tree Wolf, Radical Home, God, this, I, I always have a hard time saying that one word for some reason. I always want to go to say Godness instead of Godness. And I don't know why I do that. Bob Clyland, great info. Thank you, Bob. Same here, you know, folks. Um, thank you, T4449. Veronica Starlight. The Age of Fission Radio. Got that. Starlight. Sylvia. Nuke Busters for the Shoreline. I'm not sure, Sylvia. Thanks, Paul. You must be pretty uh, intrepid yourself at this stage in that case. BK Curry's Oregon, O R G O N E. I'm at a loop. Yar, Adam. Patrick. Hi, Jim. Cracking corn. You bet, but Take care. LA. We know Miss Milky was here earlier. She's off editing, most likely, or trying to have some part of her life back. And we know Elaine is out there, Shanikins, and we know Candace is out there, and Amthurst is out there, and Mickey is out there, and Kevin O'Kane, and everybody else. I'm the I'm one of the guys in the canoe, Thomas says. Thomas Ackerman, you'll find Thomas's link below, Miss Melky, Missing Sky, Kevin Blanche. Kevin Blanche and We'll end on that, I guess. We'll end on Kevin. Down on a protest. And yeah, that's about it, I guess. I gotta beat down that word and one of these days, get it out of my vocabulary. It's pretty hard to conversation without saying the word and though. But like a lot of words I've taken out of my vocabulary. I'll one day conquer that. Not that it matters. Instead of saying uh, I always say and but most people say uh uh like that and I'll always go and so it's just another word. And so just making sure if you catch any last things. Yeah, no worries, folks. 
Okay, we'll let it go with that. BK says the trip is done to sell the boat. No, he'd be foolish to sell that boat. We fought hard to get that boat. And we need that in case we got there's an event. And we need to go to do follow ups too. And it's just there's no way to get to rebuild an operation like we already got. All the equipment we got. I've thought about it, but I would rather put it in a museum than sell it. I'd rather give it to a museum. Okay, Billy J, everybody else, A V A. Um, yeah, take care all folks. Okay, so I'll just leave you on a little clip of Kevin. Kevin was protesting, caught one of the IAEA big shots coming out, and Kevin has cancer, but and he stuck it to him. You'll see Buddy, like, he looks at Kevin, and Kevin says, thanks for giving me cancer. You see, like, this? It's the funniest thing I ever saw. But anyway, we'll sign off on that one. Take care, folks. Here we go. Here we go. No more killing people for money. No more killing Here's your people couple of your big IEA boards right no here. These are your kingpins no right here. IAEA are mass murderers. They killed the Pacific Ocean. You, thanks for giving me leukemia. The IEA are mass murderers. Mass murders the IEA. What happens when you get cancer? What happens when you get it? What happens when you give yourself cancer? We'll keep these going. Stay on tuned.